Look what I have got here. Just warming it up. Just spoke to Phil uh, before I can take this out. Just need to let it run for a couple of minutes. Wait for the uh, revs to drop and then we can ride away. But uh, yeah, listen to that. And with that being said, roll the intro. Right, off we go. So uh, Phil did warn me that the, uh, stop shouting Jim, that this has a uh, quite a, a large turning circle. So uh, uh, he said, look, obviously coming out of here to be, be aware of that. And to be honest, uh, that wasn't too bad. He also said that this does like to be revved. So uh, we'll put that to the test when we get on the country lanes. So yes, Norton 961 Commando. And uh, yeah, look at this beast. Got a nice bit of uh, not intrusive vibes coming through the bars and the seat and the pegs, which is very nice. So far, so good. Be interested to see what it's like when we get uh, on the faster bits of roads. That is when we can get past all this traffic. Ooh, listen to that overrun. Oh, such a throaty, such a throaty sound. Quite a tall uh, first gear, to be honest, when you're pulling away, I've noticed. Listen to that. I've deliberately not put my uh, earplugs in so I can uh, listen to this engine. It's amazing. All right, let's get past this fella. Oh, nice big lazy engine. I have seen uh, some other YouTubers have come, uh, moaned about the, the fitments and the finish of the bike. Uh, stuff like indicators and some of the nuts and bolts and stuff. So it would be interesting to see uh, when we stop, we'll have a look around the bike. And see if they really are like that cheap looking. Here, check that Lotus out. Me saying that when I'm on this. Norton Commando, what a beast. I've noticed we're doing about third gear, 4,000 revs. Oh, it, it proper deep rumble while you're going along. You've got to switch up a gear because it's going to make my fillings fall out. Oh. Right, get rid of the Range Rover. Oh, uh, maybe not. Got a brake light out, he has. Oh, let me pass. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's quite a slow, lazy engine, actually, the pickup. Pass this fella. Yeah, those revs at lower gears when you get it into like when you start getting above 3000 in like second gear and that, when you change it up, oh, the vibes don't half kick in. Oh, I've got a fuel light now, look at that. Oh, so the big question I suppose you've got to ask yourself is I mean, these you're looking at around about 13 grand second hand if you want one that's like nearly new, year, two years old maybe with low miles. Brand new, um, I'll put the prices up on the, on the screen. Brand new, I think they're what 15 plus depending on what spec that you get. Um, I was looking at the uh, indicators. The indicators are, well, they are very cheap looking. They're, um, well, they look very cheap plasticky. They look like what you get when you, like an aftermarket ones that you buy off a of bloody Wish or, or Amazon or somewhere. Yeah, look a bit, bit, bit dodgy, those. I think if I was paying that money for one of these, I'd be a little bit upset. I suppose the big question is, would you have one? And the thing is, it's a motorbike, isn't it? Of course you would. You'd have one of these. It's a bit of uh, English history, but, uh, yeah, I'm very, I wouldn't be paying those type of money, those prices though. Some serious, serious money. Sounds great though. These people here you're coming, shouldn't have any worries about people pulling out in front of you. Oh, I've just jinxed myself there, haven't I, saying that. Car kind of lorry, what are you doing? Yeah, look at that. We're getting there, just got to get dialed in, didn't you? sharp for a minute and uh, let's just listen to that motor oh 
while we're pooching through this dirty, um, I've got to say, it's a nice big lazy motor. If you, if you, this is the type of bike you want to go out, do a bit of posing, go out on a Sunday, or go down to the coast on a Sunday, put it in, you don't want to wear all your you know, racing levers or whatever, you just want to go out and have a good pose and feel good about yourself. And uh, this is definitely the bike for that, it'll grab loads of attention. Um, I'm still a bit oof about the price. I think competition wise, I mean, you, you've got the, the Royal Enfields in a minute. I think if you get like the, inter, I think it's the Interceptor, uh, what's the other one? I can't think of the bloody other one. The, uh, the 650 versions of those, which are similar characteristics and rider capabilities to this, but for more than half the price. So, at the end of the day, is, uh, if you've got the money, you know, if you want to splash out and have the name Norton, and look very very cool then uh, yeah go ahead and get one but if you are going to do it get rid of them bleeding indicators swap them out see if you can get the uh, whoever you buy it from or either swap them out or buy yourself some decent carbon fiber ones do you know what i've got to say right on the move this seat does not feel uncomfortable when i was in the shop and i was sitting on it i sat on this and i thought oh this is a bit hard this is a bit bony it's sticking into my uh, bum cheeks but on the move it ain't the foot peg position's really good the bar position's really good and it's really comfortable you could do some serious miles on this i was really expecting this to be very very uncomfortable and to uh, not like it and the, and to be honest when you're just plodding along the vibes ain't that intrusive either. If you're coming, if you're coming from something like a Royal Enfield, where especially my 500, a proper vibey, you get people writing in the comments, you know, crying, you really dry their eyes about how vibey they are. This is, yeah, nearly comparable with that. So if you're coming from a straight, you know, inline four or whatever, uh, yeah, you're probably gonna, uh, you're probably gonna get a bit upset. You're gonna find it too vibey, but to be honest, I find it alright. So on that note, I think I'm going to end this video here. So if you like the videos, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, smash that red subscribe button. And if you are a subscriber, hit the notification bell. That way every time this idiot uploads a video, you will get notified. And that, my friends, is Jim Diesel. Out.